Okay. This is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. But um, this is a complete ripoff. Like, I bet my life on it. Um, <laughs> it's the same thing. It's like the same exact anteater. So all I did... I'm spazzing out here. All I did was warp it a little bit um, because it's at a different angle. The uh, comparison photo was taken from above and this one's from below. So you got to alter... Um, it's positioned to line all the features up to make it really obvious because this is a horrible quality photo. But starting at like the least likely place for different individuals of a species to have um, identical traits and identical um, patterns is the tail. I mean, this is ridiculous. So this it's missing a chunk right here. Um, it's got some hair coming down right here. I mean, just look at the general pattern and the curvature of the tail. Just the... <laughs> The orientation and the pattern and the chunks missing, it's just like, come on. This is stupid. That's, that's not really. And I mean, it's the same gap and curve pattern right here. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, this is more full, but obviously they just, they've messed with the damn thing. I, and, and, like, honestly, it looks dead. It does not look alive. I've seen taxidermies. Like, my girlfriend's mom has a ton of them, and you can tell when they're not alive. I mean, but I'm going to go ahead and reduce the opacity. Actually, we're going to go and look one more place right here. So this little section right here obviously has a few uh, white hairs coming down, two or three with some hair crossing it, and then it comes right down right there. So this turns white. Obviously in different lighting conditions, it's gonna be a little bit different, but it's, it's, I want curves out, up, and then it has hair tucking behind it with the same general pattern. Like, seriously? Yeah? that right there coming down heading down here it, it, come on okay so we have to move on to I gotta I gotta line this back up forgive me let's see if that works so um oh that's terrible did I do that even worse? No, not yet. Okay, I'm stupid. So, like, really? We, we got <laughs> an obvious triangle, you know, of dark fur on his leg right there. It's about halfway across his, his rear leg. And that, see, really? Really. Like, the same, the same pattern. We're right there so it comes in comes back down goes back up into this tuft of hair goes down goes back up goes back down into that tuft of hair I mean come on and then <laughs> the most damning thing that I see is is this I mean what let's let's look at this line I mean really see really the tufts of hair in the same exact spot, the ear in the same exact spot, and just the the positioning. Like, who thought they could get away with this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> down, then up, then down, then uh, just... Really? Like, let's do, like, a divide or whatever. Um, multiply. No, that's not going to do it. No, no, that's not going to work, is it? Like, really? Are you serious? It's just... Here we go. It, it's just... It's slightly confusing how someone could... And then just the, the general pattern of, you know, having a dark patch of fur in here, the light fur comes down, heads back up over the leg down, up, back, over the leg. I, 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 like, 
how how could it not be the most obvious thing it's i just i mean like the <laughs> the positioning of the anteater i mean he's he's in the same position he has the same details the same markings um it's like it's like I don't even know having the same fingerprint, but saying it's not the same person. I mean, the, the, the possibility, the chances are so, so slim. I mean, the guy had to take the picture, one, one frame. He got it in one frame in the perfect composition in the same park where this anteater, the stuffed one, happens to be. It's in the same position of the anteater with all of the same general details as the stuffed anteater. Like, in the raw file, he doesn't have it before or after, but only with the anteater in the perfectly composed position from a long exposure with the rear curtain flash. I mean, if this was a murder case, you'd be in jail for life. It's just, with this sort of evidence, it's, it's just, I don't even get it. But, yeah. Yeah, I... That's, like, come on. We, are we being serious? And like, this isn't a coloration difference. I mean, this just could be fur that's further in front and the other fur is hidden behind the flash. So it, it may not even be color. I mean, because everything that is a uniform length, the tail's all poofy and stuff, so you're going to have shadows, you know, where it's you know, puffed out versus recessed in certain areas, but his actual coat, it can't do that. And all those features are literally identical. I mean, we have this piece coming down right here and it's, it's right there. And that little dark tuft is right there. And then this piece, this bar comes down right there. And you have to, you have to picture it lower too. So you're going to get a lot of this dark marking when you're lower. And we're going to have this bar on top when you're looking lower, and you're going to see more of the dark, which is exactly what we can see here. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, you don't need to examine it in person. It's just, it's, come on. And the head, come on. Like this, ears right there, the line. Here's right there, line. There's a second line right here. Second line right here. I mean, yeah. So that, that is my analysis of this uh, extremely rare event where Anteater that has the exact same features, uh, they cloned it before it died. One was stuffed. One was kept as a pet. They trained the pet to go and stand still against this uh, rock thing or this, this mound of dirt with ants in it. And then they had him take the photo and then he just ran off afterwards. Uh, come on. Okay, that's it. <laughs>